let us now move on to the examination of the lymph nodes. Afsana, are all superficial lymph nodes easily palpable? No, not all of them, and they do vary from person to person. Um, some groups are more readily palpable than others, such as the in horizontal inguinal lymph nodes, um, and the axillary and cervical can also be palpable. Palpate the superficial lymph nodes with a gentle rolling motion of the fingertips, noting their size, texture, and presence of tenderness. The other groups of lymph nodes may not be easily palpable unless they are raised. In particular, the popliteal, epitrochlea, and those at the base of the head can be difficult to palpate when normal. When you are palpating the lymph nodes, try to assess whether they are hard, rubbery, soft, enlarged, or tender. Always bear in mind the area that each of these groups of lymph nodes drain and their clinical significance. The supraclavicular lymph nodes are located deep to the lateral ends of the clavicles. This can be carried out from the front or from the back of the patient. Please refer to the slideshows for more information on this area. For demonstration purposes, we will examine the palpable groups of lymph nodes. Starting from the most superior, these are the pre- and post-auricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, cervical, supraclavicular and infraclavicular, pectoral, axillary, epitrochlea, inguinal, and popliteal. Can you now show us where you would palpate these uh, palpable groups of lymph nodes? Let's say start superiorly from the head. Now checking the pre, pre-occipital lymph nodes. When attempting to palpate the supraclavicular lymph nodes, ask the patient to shrug their shoulders to facilitate the procedure. Standing in front of or behind the patient, place the pups of your fingers in the supraclavicular fossae. The supraclavicular lymph nodes may be clinically significant in pulmonary and gastric diseases. An enlarged supraclavicular lymph node, especially on the left, referred to as Virchow's node, may signify possible infection or metastasis from a thoracic or abdominal malignancy. The axillary lymph nodes can be palpated in the axilla. Ask the patient to abduct their arms. Place your cupped fingers high up in the axilla against the chest wall. Then ask the patient to lower their arms. Then gently drag your fingers down against the chest wall and you should be able to feel them rolling from under your fingertips. The pectoral nodes are situated over the pectoralis major. These are of particular clinical significance in females. The epitrochlear lymph nodes can be palpated in the medial aspect of the arm, about 3 cm above the elbow. The deep inguinal lymph nodes are not palpable. The superficial are divided into two groups, the horizontal and vertical. The horizontal nodes drain portions of the lower abdomen, the buttocks, the anal canal and perianal area. The lower nodes drain the vagina and external genitalia. Palpation of these should therefore not be overlooked. The vertical nodes drain the lower limbs. The inguinal lymph nodes are normally described as firm or rubbery. I'm going to examine your groin now, Mrs. Smith. Okay. Tell me if I cause you any pain. 